Continuing our coverage of great gaming laptops, we're taking a look at the Aero 15X 2018 edition. It's time for Unbox Daily. Welcome to Unbox Daily. I'm your host, Jason. And if you caught our show the other day of the MSI GS65, you know that it's one of a couple of new laptops that just came out and hit the gaming market. Well, today, we're gonna take a look at one of its competitors, Gigabyte's latest edition of the Aero 15X. If you like what you see and you wanna check out more, hit that subscribe button. If you really love us, hit the bell as well. When I go looking for a new laptop, first thing I wanna know beyond the specs, beyond the panel, beyond everything else is, is it heavy? Am I gonna carry it around all day and regret that decision? Well, we've got the tech chap who's not only showing off the weight of this new laptop, but talking a little bit about the new panels and some of the ports that are available and giving you a, just a general sense of what it's gonna be like to use this laptop day to day. It's a little thinner and lighter than last year's model, weighing about two kilograms. Again, that's the same as the XPS 15 and only a couple of hundred grams heavier than a MacBook Pro 15. You also get a massive 94 watt hour battery which Gigabyte say will get you 10 hours of battery, although obviously the 15X is more powerful 1070, and if you do go for that optional 4K screen, that of course will reduce the battery a fair bit. It's also got pretty much every port you'd ever want, with USB-A, Thunderbolt 3 USB-C, HDMI 2.0, Mini Display Port 1.4, an RJ45 Ethernet, headphone jack, and an SD card reader. Now it's worth noting, this laptop comes in two versions, a 1080p panel that allows for a higher refresh rate, or a 4K panel that limits you pretty significantly far down. So depending on whether you're looking for something that's higher resolution or faster frame rate, you should make your purchase accordingly. On the one end, you've got Intel's six core eighth gen processor. On the other side, you've got the GTX 1070 Max-Q GPU. Put those two together and you've got a hefty little machine, but you gotta have the panel to marry it and really experience the right kind of gaming experience. After all, if you have a low refresh rate, even at high resolution, you're not gonna get a great gaming experience. So if you wanna know which panel you should get for the Aero 15X, you're gonna to wanna to check in with Dave2D, who has a very specific opinion about which panel to get if you're gonna get this laptop. Now, one of the issues I had with the Aero 15X from a few months ago was that they were pairing a GTX 1070 Max-Q with a 60 hertz screen. It just, it didn't make sense to me. It was like, you're wasting the potential of that card because you're capped at 60 frames per second. 144 hertz on these new panels, it makes a world of a difference. Gameplay is very fluid, but even if you're not a gamer, having your Windows desktop at a higher frame rate looks awesome. Just seeing your mouse cursor move around really smooth at 144 hertz looks so much better than 60. Now this panel does not have G-Sync, and I've said this before in previous videos, but I don't think it's that important. Like, G-Sync is really useful at lower frame rates, at like 40 to 60 frames per second. You know, I'll say this, I think Dave's right. The lack of G-Sync on this laptop is probably not gonna hurt you. Everything I've seen indicates that it's a smooth gaming experience. You're not gonna notice a lot of tearing or any sort of sync issues. In general, I think you're gonna be okay without it. The one thing I can't stand is when you get a laptop where the fans make just a ridiculous amount of noise. Now I know we can't liquid cool everything and I'm not suggesting that we start trying to liquid cool laptops. We're not quite there yet. But the fact remains that if you're a manufacturer and you're putting together a solid top of the line laptop, you better do so with some decently quiet fans. So how loud is the Aero 15X when it's fully throttled? Well, the folks over at Kit Guru Tech, they've got your answer. It's not perfect. I mean, as I'm sitting here now with a Time Spy looking good, the noise is doing my head in slightly. Uh, the fans in this laptop have 15 stages of, of 15 steps in the speed. So it's not an entirely stepless fan curve, but 15 steps, it's good. I mean, compared to some of the old crash bang wallop we used to have to contend with, I, I can't exactly complain about the fan curves and the steps. All right, so you're probably not gonna be able to take it to the library. I mean, you got this thing running full throttle. You're gonna make some noise. You're gonna upset a librarian. But you take it to class, you sit in the back, you're playing some games and you're furiously typing away. Well, that, that fan noise, that just means that you're working extra hard, right? And of course, you can't talk about a gaming laptop without showing off some gaming, right? So let's take a look at Destiny 2 and PUBG with the folks from yet another gaming site. It only makes sense to start with Destiny 2 because the notebook did ship with the Destiny 2 loot crate that Nvidia sent us a while ago. On the maximum settings at 1080p, the Aero 15X gave an average of 85 FPS with a peak of 120 FPS and the lowest going down to a more than reasonable 60. The next popular game we tried out was of course PUBG and the results were quite suppressing. 
on maxed out settings at 1080p, PUBG gave an average FPS of 60 with a peak of 75 and low of 35. So there you have it. If you're looking for a smooth gaming experience and an overall great laptop, the Aero 15X in 2018 might be right for you. And that's it for this look at Gigabyte's latest entry into the Aero 15X line. What do you think? Worth your money or save your wallet? Either way, if you like what you see, head on over to Unbox.tv or look us up in the iOS store. In the meantime, I'll see you back here soon for more great videos from your favorite product reviewers and unboxers. I'm your host, Jason. Have a great day.